Hello guys, thank you for joining Healthcare Amazon. The topic for today is why people buy traditional health insurance. It's going to be traditional health insurance days are numbered, man, because I see a greater participation in deductible health plans than you can qualify for a health savings accounts then you can save in the health savings accounts, which has a triple tax advantage, folks. Contributions are deductible, appreciation is deductible, and payments for the healthcare are deductible. More than anything else, more than anything else, I would like to give you one good thing about this deductible health plans with health savings, it empowers you as a consumer. Yes, it will empower you as a consumer to make decisions regarding your health. You can choose your own doctor, you can choose your own facility, you can go to play, you know, you can have the surgeries whenever you want. Obviously, when you have a health savings account, folks, People don't get it. You are incentivized to save. This is what the beauty about health savings. You're incentivized, the more you save, it's like an IRA, folks. It's like anything else. You have, and you have 100% control, 100% control. You can go to the healthcare, amazon.com, and go to the service section and enroll into the health savings. Make sure you have a deductible health insurance. That way you qualify for a deduction on your taxes. Folks, if you're an individual, if you're a, if, if you're a solo, if you're a, working for a small business and large business, it doesn't matter. You can be a part of a, a deductible health insurance. If you're an individual, I'm talking about only $10 a day, $300 a month, $3,600 a year. I've figured it out. And if you have a family, $20 a day, $600 a month, $7,200 a year. Can you imagine folks in 10 years, I'm telling you, that money what you put in into the health savings is tied to the Ameritrade. Yes, it is tied to the Ameritrade where you have a control. You can buy some index funds. You can be rest assured that money will appreciate. That 36,000 will be 50,000 know, you know, pretty soon because it is tied to the market, folks. And that 72,000 will be 100,000. And you have a debit card. And you have a deductible, so first whatever you can afford 1,000, 3,000, 5,000, whatever your affordability is. You make a decision how much you can afford that deductible part, that lowers your premium. Yes, that lowers your premium. If you are a healthy individual, you're in 30, mid 30s, come on, you shouldn't be more than, your health insurance should not be more than 100 bucks or maybe less than that because you are taking a deductible policy that lowers your premium. The more and more I look into it, folks, it makes a sense, it makes sense. I ra rather believe in myself than insurers making decisions on my health. I want to make a decision on my body, not somebody else, not even the government. I want to make a decision on myself. I wish, I wish this uh, so-called um, Medicare, Medicaid, and also veterans, they need to empower you folks. You know, every time the government gets involved, it takes away your control, man. That's what my problem is. When they get incentivized, you take control. It can be done. It can be done. It's a matter of how you do it. Because we are electing representatives in Washington, congressmen and senators. There we go again. They go and 
pocket the middlemen like insurers, billers, you name it. This billing system has to go. Billing system is it's costing us 20, per, 20 cents on each dollar what you're paying for healthcare. And this middleman, managed care, so-called managed care, that's costing an additional 20. So you're spending 40 cents on each dollar for a middleman. Yes, middlemen, like managed care organizations, billers, bureaucrats, you name it. Every time the government gets involved, there is built-in bureaucracy. Which, which, which you can avoid it by participating in a deductible health plan because you take control of your health. Thank you guys, I love you. I love you all. I want America to be the number one in healthcare delivery. That's my goal, folks. I've been in healthcare for a long time. I love to see healthcare costs go down and uh, U.S. needs to be number one in healthcare, not 37th like it is right now. Thank you for joining, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, God bless, salute.